So now you have done line, shape, color. We're going to move on to value today. Before you begin, make sure you set your guides at one half inch for each of these, and then make sure that you put a line and the word value up at the top. Getting started. First thing I want you to do is create a rectangle. Make sure it's on the rectangle too and not any of these other tools. Click and drag. Doesn't really matter the size, just make sure it's not too big. Want to make sure that it has a black stroke and a white fill. I could do that right now or I could click on this default fill and stroke button and that will get it exactly the way I want it. Okay, I can do this a couple of different ways. I could Command C to copy, Command V to paste and drag it into place or, and you gotta make sure it's in the right place of course, or I could click, hold down my Option or Alt key, drag across and that will copy the shape. I wanna have 11 of these shapes so I will just do that really quickly. Still holding down Alt. You know that I'm holding down Alt when I have that double arrow right here. I could also hold down Shift so that when I am dragging it across, it stays in its same orientation. It doesn't move up like it has up here. You can also use your arrow keys if you need to. So again, Alt and drag across. One thing about Shift is that you have to push Shift after you click. What I want is for these shapes to fill the page to go from margin to margin. So I'm going to drag across all of them and pull them out until they fit. I'm not really concerned on the proportions, so I did not hold down Shift. I want to have four sets of these. So I'm going to click and drag across all of them and I can copy paste them if I wanted to or I can hold down Alt again and drag down and again and one more time. Okay. I want to have a white set and I want to have a set for each of the primary. So I'm going to have a yellow a blue and a red set. Let's go ahead and do that. There's yellow. And when I'm doing this, I want to choose the CMYK set. And we're going to talk about that in just a minute. So CMYK red and CMYK blue. 